Hello ladies and gentlemen, DemiPixel here, and today I'm going to be showing off my brand new Factorio Belt Simulator. This is a contraption that I've wanted to build ever since I found out about these new uh, transport belt circuit network features, the pulse and the hold, um, and I tried it as soon as the update came out, and it worked. Uh, so here I am showing it off to you. So without further ado, uh, here it is. So let's say this is a belt that is at our at our outpost or something, and it has ores flowing through, uh, but it could be any belt that you have in your entire world. And down here is going to be a belt at our base that's going to simulate the throughput up here uh, at the above belt. Uh, so right now, they look exactly the same, right? We have five inserters over here taking items out, and we have five over here, so it's not going to be very complicated. We just have a straight stream going through. But what happens if we remove a few inserters? Now, only relying on the inputs from the transport belt and nothing else, you can immediately see that we now have a lower throughput. And this is actually the same throughput, it just looks a little bit different because of how the belts are configured. Uh, but they do indeed uh, have the same number of items flowing per second. And we can see this even more dramatically if we cut, again, the number of inserters in half. And you can see two items at a time are going there, and two items at a time are going on down here. So if we add back these inserters, again, it'll, they'll all start to turn on again, and we can actually remove these, uh, then what will happen is that we'll actually begin, you'll see up here we have a little bit of backup, and so this is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, it does take some time to back up, but again, this isn't going to immediately back up, uh, so we shouldn't have to worry about this immediately backing up as, uh, as well. Uh, so you can see here, we're going a few at a time, and again, I can make it only one inserter, and this will only, again, be going a few at a time, and if I remove the last inserter, it's it's stationary. Nothing is moving, uh, and so this is pretty much exactly going to represent whatever is going on at your outpost, at your base, so you can see what's going on. Uh, and this is kind of how I imagine the design, so I'm hoping that we could get it a little bit more compact. Um, but essentially they would be a little bit spread out and then they would come into a main viewing area and you would be able to see all of your outposts and all of your uh, all of the belts that you want to see in your world uh, right here and see all their throughputs uh, with the items and you could see hey this mill belt which is uh, you know copper outpost 2 it looks like it's running a little bit low so I know that no matter what the buffer storage says, uh, we're starting to run out of miners. Uh, so then you'd know to go up to Copper Outpost 2 and go deal with that. Um, and so this is, uh, well, that's that's essentially what the contraption is. It can simulate throughput. And now, for those of you who are interested, I'm going to actually be explaining uh, how does this contraption work? How are we, how are we simply looking at just uh, the input and the output and uh, or sorry, just the uh, pulse and the hold, and how are we getting all this information uh, from that? So for that, I'm going to come up here. So if I just add a few more items, so you'll notice uh, right now uh, our count is very high and our pulse is very low. Um, and you can see this over here. We have a uh, we have a we have a pulse every second. It looks like maybe half second. And up here, we constantly have uh, three or four going on. Now, typically, what you're going to have is a belt like this, which is flowing through. And you'll notice that these are actually the same. Um, and it kind of surprised me when I came to this conclusion as well. When I was first thinking about these, uh, how can hold and pulse be exactly the same? Because hold shows. Uh, items and, and pulse is going to give a, uh, a, a quick pulse uh, when an item goes through. But the more I thought about it, uh, the more it worked out. So if you think about it, oops, uh, we have, we'll say, four items on this belt, and that means we're going to get four pulses here. And if we have two items on this belt, then we're going to get two pulses here. And if we have one here, then one pulse here. And of course, if we have zero items, we'll have zero pulses. Uh, so as long as the input and the output uh, are the same, we're going to have uh, hold and pulse essentially being the same thing. Now the ratios are a little bit different, so you do have to do a little bit of math, but you don't have to convert in anything. Uh, you can keep it all in the same units. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a few extra items here so it'll back up. Uh, we're going to need a few more than that. 
and that looks good. So now you'll see that it's going a lot slower and that uh, count and pulse aren't the same. And that's because the input and the output are the same, right? We're trying to put a lot more items on uh, than we can take out. Uh, and so this is the problem that we have, and so these won't be the same. So how do we deal with this? Well, the fact of the matter is that we don't actually need to deal with it. Uh, so count is going to be a lot higher than pulse. So what does pulse represent? Well, pulse represents a time and every, every, every time an item enters this transport belt, uh, which is going to be every time this inserter takes an item out. So we can essentially say that pulse is the output. And we can also say that count is the input, because as long as the input is higher than the output, uh, which in this case it is, because count is higher than pulse, like we said. So as long as the uh, input is higher than the output, then the throughput will be correct here. Um, because we're only going to be taking a limited number of items. Um, I can actually show that down here. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to uh, start putting a lot of items on like that. And you'll notice that they're all firing. And you'll notice that only one inserter is going here, but they're all firing here. And the reason for that is because it doesn't matter what our input is since it's backed up. But if we change it up, so that it's no longer being backed up. Well, now count and pulse are the same, which means we have the same number of inserters running, uh, and it'll be flowing constantly. Uh, so essentially what I'm doing here is for 30 ticks, which is half a second, I'm going to be adding up all the pulses, um, which you can see uh, in the corner over here, uh, so it adds up to uh, five or six, um, and we're gonna be adding up all of the uh, counts, which again you can see uh, over the course of 30 ticks, and that looks like it's around 65, uh, what it comes out to. And so with a little math, a little trickery, uh, I figured out that for this specific blue belt, um, the the constant that we're going to divide our count by is 10, uh, but it's going to be different for different belts, and I might explain some of the math in uh, a Reddit thread, so look out for that and I'll be able to uh, show exactly why this is. Um, and so we have Again, the number of pulses that we have in 30 ticks and essentially the same number in counts. Um, and then all we have to do is we just extend this a little bit and we say, all right, well, A is our input, um, which we have right here. Uh, where is it? A is our input and B is our output. So A is our input, which is our hold, and B is our output, which is pulse. And like I said up here, pulse is output. So we're going to see right here that uh, if we have one, uh, one B, then we're going to have one inserter, two Bs, two, three Bs, three, and so on, and these go all the way uh, up. And same over here, we're going to have one A, two A's, three A's, four A's, uh, going all the way up, and that's essentially going to count for us. So if they're the same, then they'll have the same number of inserters running, and if pulse is super low, like it is right now, and it'll be at zero, and it doesn't matter what this is, these can all be running because we'll have the same amount of throughput. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope to see this kind of uh, simulator running in some of your new 0.13 bases, and I hope you guys have fun. See ya.